during the 2021 inaugural Raccoon River Rally and cardboard boat races, I built the fastest boat and Catherine Harrington at the chamber has asked me to share a few insights into how to build a boat and how to build a fast boat. So in this video, I'll be showing you a few things that I did. So as I was planning to make my boat for the cardboard boat races, I knew that I was going to use a model of a stand-up paddleboard. And those are about 10 to 11 feet uh, in length. So I had to find a box that was that tall. But I couldn't find one box that was that tall, but I found two boxes. And you can see here this piece of tape shows where the two boxes are taped together. I'll get into um, how I tape the boxes together in just a little bit. Um, but a couple of things about the cardboard. I found a furniture box that came from overseas. It was a triple wall cardboard, very uh, thick and resistant to collapse. Um, in addition to that, I was a little worried about the cardboard collapsing, even though that it was a solid cardboard. So I put on these uh, little cardboard pads to, ex uh, to put my feet on to kind of extra, uh, add a little extra support, make sure the cardboard wouldn't collapse. And I did a few things on the inside of the boat as well to make sure the cardboard wouldn't collapse. Um, if you look at from the side, you can see it's a pretty thick um, box. It's not huge, but it's enough uh, to add lots of buoyancy and more than enough to carry my weight. So I didn't do any math, but I did some estimations to make sure that there would be plenty of um, volume in this box to support my weight for in terms of water displacement. So if you want a, a physics lessons, I can probably direct you to somebody who can help you with that. All right, um, let's tear this thing apart so you can see how I put it together. Okay, let's take a look at how I kept the two boxes together. When you have two very buoyant cardboard boxes when, and you put them together into the water, both of them are gonna wanna come up at the same time. So I needed something to prevent that from happening. You can see here, here's box number one and box number two. And I used tape to reinforce each of the corners. I wanted to make sure there'd be something really good to stick to. Uh, and then to prevent the boxes from folding up, I use this basically cardboard angle iron. Let me try to expose it a little bit more here for you. You got this L shape and that uh, running this way provides a lot of, of strength preventing the boxes from folding and separating from each other. So I did that on all four sides, all four corners, excuse me, one, two, three, and four. And then on the underside of the boat, I use those angle irons to create rudders. One of the important things for me was, as I was paddling, to not allow the boat to spin in a circle. So by creating some rudders like this, um, it, it, every stroke of the paddle kept the boat moving somewhat in a forward direction. It's not perfect, and the bigger these were, the, the better they, they would have performed, but I just used some tape to cover them up and tape them to the bottom. Another word about the tape is it allowed this boat to float not only on the day of the race, but I've used it several times since then. Um, it, it's not perfect, it isn't completely waterproof, but it does help um, keep you float, floating long enough to finish the race. Another problem that I was trying to avoid was having the weight of my body collapse the cardboard box. So there was a buoyant force pushing the boxes up and my weight pushing down. I thought these boxes are going to collapse as soon as they get wet. Um, again, I did use this really thick and you can zoom in here to see the, uh, the cardboard, how dense and thick it is. It's very heavy cardboard, but still I had those concerns. So inside the boxes, I opened the boxes up and I used... Uh, cardboard structures that I found, again, in a furniture box. These uh, are designed to prevent crushing from happening um, during shipment. And I took these and put them on edge and taped them in place 
and ran them all the way through the boxes. Um, I put a few on the ends, but mostly I put them in the middle. This is the front of my boat, so I didn't intend to stand up there, but I was standing in this section, so this is where I put the reinforcements. And um, that worked really well without adding any weight, and of course, didn't violate any of the rules of the game. 